Hi everyone, Brett back altitude scale modeling with another spur review. This time we are going to look at Great Wall Hobbies limited edition 148 scale F14D from VF31 Squadron. Beautiful box art. All around. Doesn't really show you much. Except you get this beautiful design. Felix the cat. That's what it looks like under there, but I could be wrong. Kid number S7203, 172nd scale. If I said 140 scale before, I apologize. Look at all the plastic in this kit. I'm not even going to count all these screws. We just keep going. Keep clear. Keep going. So we'll start with some wings here. And we've got instructions. Decals. And color callouts. So let us begin with more light and they are doing a Tammy and Staple thing. Arg. So two screws in this bag. Zoom in. We've got the top of the fuselage, top of the wings. Really nice tiny pedo tubes, I'm assuming. Launch rails. Looking really sharp. Crisp detail, rivet detail, panel line detail. All looking really good on there. This one is with the elevators, back of the canopy section, landing gear doors, there's the um, gun area. I don't see a date on any of this, but there is no flash. There's nice detail inside the landing gear doors. No ejector pin marks on these. These you're not going to see. One piece elevators. So we'll start with the looking at the inside of the landing gear doors. You can see really nice detail for 70 second inside of there. Flip it over again. Really nice crisp detail. And I've been waiting for these. This kit to come out for a while because I've got the other 72nd Tomcat that Greywall did and the 72nd Eagle they did. I believe these parts here and here are for the wing folds. See, really nice detail. Get the light right there and there. Alright. So this is just going to keep going, so let's go with, looks like fuselage has where the cockpits are, the cockpit tub, uh, one of the gear bays, or the, yep, that's one of the gear bays, tail hooks on here, again, damn staples, and the nose cone. Which is bent over, should be... So, we've got nice detail, the cockpit area. And again, really fine pan lines and rivets all along this part of the fuselage, the nose cone. I just took off, but here you go. I'm not an F-14 expert, but the shape looks right to me. Put 
that aside so I don't lose it. Tail hook. There you go. That's where the canopy's going to clip onto. One piece intakes, so you don't have seam lines to worry about. Good detail all the way around. On both sides. So, you see, slide molding, see the detail there. Some of the launch rails are going to go. Just really nice all the way around. I even got a little bit of detail in here where the cockpit's going to go. Underneath, if you want to have it open, the canopy open, good detail. So far what I'm seeing is looking really impressive for 72nd, but 72nd has been improving as mold technology gets better. Let's look at some more slide molded parts. This is the lower part of the fuselage, some bulkheads, and the intakes. This bag's got a bunch of little sprues, the intakes. Let's start here. The matching part to the upper part of the fuselage, lower part of the wings, upper part of the wings. Again, I hope the camera's picking up just how good all that detail is all the way around. In the landing gear bays, the access panels, the engine covers, you could actually cut these off and uh, I'm assuming there's detailed engines, I haven't looked yet, but if there are, the panel lines are so nice, you could open them up. Here's where the under part uh, canards. <laughs> If that's what they're called in the tail section, that's where they go. Sides. I mean, look. The panel line continues all the way around with no, no lessening of the detail. Here's the inside part you're not going to see. But yeah, really good look at that because that's worth looking at. Two intakes, one piece. Again, no seam lines. None of that at all. There are ejector pin marks in here. They're on the bottom. And I'm just not sure if you're actually going to see them when they're on the aircraft. Here, I'll show them to you. They are right there. And then here's the whole beautiful intake so two of these and then these are matching and these are some doors and some bulkheads but again just the detail right there, and yeah, there's an ejector pin mark in both of them, but I don't think you'll see them, but that detail there. And on this side, again, all the way around. Bulkhead detail. Really nice. This, I'm not sure, maybe the heads-up display, no, or maybe it's part of the radar. Because this has got to be the part of the radar. <clears throat> This is the part that attaches, now I'm guessing here, but it looks like from building other F-14s, this is the part that attaches the fuselage, this is the actual radar part. Very nice with those. I keep thinking I'm going to be able to put these in the bag and 
then I realized they don't want to go back in the bag. And where should we go from here? We just talked about engines. Let's see. Here's some engine detail. These are matching screws because obviously there's two engines. These are just the the um, cones, first stage compressor, the afterburner ring. So you've got open and closed, and then the tube for the engine itself, which does have some detail inside of it. So you've got two engine nozzles, one open, one closed. And then the beautiful first stage compressor and afterburner ring. Two of those. <clears throat> and let's do some big ones. These are actually wing parts. Let's check out some more ones. Now you know both Tammy and AMK released 48 scale F14s, so compare. Cost of this one. Let me look it up real quick while you're admiring this gorgeous wing detail. The computer wants to wake up. There we go. You know the dog barking because probably there's another dog walking by. Uh, hold on. Let me find this real quick. At your local hobby store. Actually, your online hobby store. Alright, Great Wall Hobby. This one is going for around $66. So it is more than Okay, let's do the yeah, there it is. AMK $73, so it's not quite as much as AMK. But there you go. Leading edge slats. And there's your wings. And there's the underside of your wings. So quiet down as soon as that dog is walking by, it goes away. And there it looks like flaps. So you can have your flaps down, really detailed flaps too. And your nose gear. And looks like a ladder. And these are parts for your wing fold areas. Opened or closed. And again, wonderful detail. And then See how the flaps look if you want to have the wings extended open all the way. Really nice detail on those, and you can see you're right through there. And then, okay, front landing gear extended or collapsed, so if it's being pulled down by the cat or normal sitting position unweighted down. Very nice touch. And I don't see any burring on it. You can see right there. Slide molded, hollowed out to connect everything together. Sweet. Looking design going on. Um, here is not a matching screw. almost thought it was, but looks like with the flaps all the way in the closed position. And when we look at the instructions we'll get more detail. Almost looks like these could be FOD covers. So, the other side, there are ejector pin marks in here. 
I mean, just, you know, just to be safe, do some test fitting, touch them up. Same with these here. But again, you've got really good detail on all of these parts. Well, you all know I do pretty much 48 scale, but they keep doing this because I will be building one of these. Speed brakes, tails, that's where the speed brake goes, and the detail there, and then the doors. Tails are one piece, very nice. Detail inside the speed brake. No ejector pins inside these doors. Well, maybe. Maybe that detail's supposed to be there. These doors. But that could be detailed. It's supposed to be there because it doesn't look like a ejector pin. The tails, looking good. The back of the speed brake. These tiny little parts here. Flip it over again. More of the same outstanding detail there on the tails, the rings for the nozzles, the detail there, just so crisp, exquisite, if I'm allowed to use that word. And we just keep going and going. Um, this looks important because this is tires in main landing gear. <sighs> Staples win. All right. Pedo tubes, landing gear, refueling probe, tires that do have weight on them. I believe this is the part that hooks it to the catapult. But again, I could be wrong, but this is how fine these parts are. I mean, look at that. Would you be able to see how finely detailed those are? And then weight on wheels, one piece wheels, no burring. I cannot see a burr line on either side of those. It's the molding detail is just outstanding. I can make the molds for this. Impressive. Okay, and then we've got weapons. Weapons last. <clears throat> Four sprues in this bag, which includes control stick, side panels, uh, combing for the front of the fuselage, lots of side panels, lots of good detail. The control sticks, those look like the doors for the front landing gear. So again, you see how small those are, detailed. Detail on the doors and on the inside of the doors. Okay. Over here, you see your instrument panel detail. I'm sure there's decals and there'll definitely be some photo itch coming out. But the texture here and the texture here Very, very well done. And none of this have I seen flashing. I'm assuming it's one of the launch rails for the Phoenix. I'm assuming. I could be wrong. It could be a launch rail for a sparrow or something. These ejector seats, two of them, of course. Again, very nice detail. The cushions, the rails, the sides. And if you wanted to change, of course, there will be. There's another one of these. 
there I'm sure someone's got some aftermarket resin coming around <clears throat> some more launch rails and these are your sidewinders and we all know Great Wall does great weapons slide molded one piece except for the fins everything's straight so there's two of these in this bag and there's two of these launch rails again great detail throughout so and here some more weapons these look like laser guided bombs and I'm not sure this almost looks like a pot, a sniper pot of some kind but there's your laser guided bombs As you can see again one piece of those parts glue those halves together no flash you have a seam line, but no problem. I bet they fit together really well. They say F-15 on there. So I'm assuming, same with these, they're using them for both the F-15 and the F-14. Nothing wrong with that. Here, we have a couple of sparrows, it looks like. Again, these may say F-15 on them as well. So there's the fins for the AIM-7. Launch rails. With really good tiny detail. <clears throat> and then the AIM-7 themselves. Slide molded, of course. One piece except for the back fins. And here are your main wheels. They come in halves. And drop tanks it looks like. So there's your main wheels, and they do have weight on wheels. And you can see they come in halves. And then two of these JGW73s. Now, I don't know if D carried the Phoenix or not, but there's no Phoenix in the box. But there are one of these pylons. Very nicely detailed. One piece, looking good. And there's two of these pylons. Sprues. So there's matching sprues of this. And this one has three sprues of these pylons. Okay, now we're to the clear parts, which I am going to completely remove this staple because I don't want to scratch the clear parts. We got this nice protection part here, and I do not see a seam line in there. But what I see is some amazing clear parts with the usual amount of distortion in the curved area. But other than that. Great rivet detail all around. There's your lights. And 
and it's looking really good. Clear press in, put these right back in the bag. All right, we're on to the instructions, the decals, whatever else we got. Color call out. There's Felix, looking good. I do love the look of this one. This is one I wouldn't want to get different decals for. I just like it. It's your stencil layout, your color call outs, on the other side. Might even be the actual size it's supposed to be. All right. And we've got decals, which we shall see if we can get into. Hey, these aren't even sealed. No staples. Woohoo! All right. Here's your canopy decal, or your cockpit decals. Walkway decals, sorry. Weapons decals. Made in China. But really nicely done. Really nice matte finish, too. They don't feel thick at all. And here, the actual aircraft decals. Made in China. So you can do the red one, or you can do the black one. Do the black one, there's your parts. I'm assuming this means you can do the gray one, which is Theodore Roosevelt. I don't know, maybe the red one would look good. And your low vis one. Just get your low vis markings on there that look outstanding. Not too glossy, not too matte. Cut very close. I've never had a problem with Great Wall Hobby decals. If anyone else has, let me know. I'm also going to put these back. And last but not least, instruction book. So, it comes apart like this. Your sprue map. There's your sprue map and your decal. Do not use shadow parts, so you're not using those, that. Actually, there's not very many parts you're not using. That's good. There. Your color callouts in Mr. Hobby, Vallejo, and your FS numbers, and your warnings about being safe, how to use tools. You start with step one, which is a very thick book, too. Cockpit, of course, your color callouts, and then you put your decals in. Like I said, I'm sure there is or will be photo etch for this. But it's 70 seconds, so do you really need it? Those decals look kind of good. Putting your seats in, putting your front fuselage half together with a nose cone. There's nose cone closed and with the radar. And it lifts up right there if you want to do it that way. And there's decals for that too. Putting in, you've got closed covers and then open covers. So if you want to close, it looks like that. You want to open, it looks like that for your intakes. Putting the wings together and the movable part for your wing. Drill hole when assembling a weapon pylon. Okay, keep that in mind. Mark that that you want to do some drilling. And there's your arrestor hook and your fins on the bottom. Your intakes going on. And again, your open and closed state, closed state, closed state, open state. So pay attention to that if you can have them open or closed. And here is assembling it all together. The front half of the fuselage, the main part, your intakes, and your landing gear doors. Those are landing gear doors. Hey, there was no engine in this. I just realized that. <clears throat> Putting your tails on and your elevators on. Now there goes your landing gear going together. Now, well, it's good that you don't have to put your landing gear on before painting, because that would be, you know, a pain. Only apply on the B version. 
on marking for beef. And some more bits and bobs if you want to have the landing gear closed and in flight. I have a marking for that. There's your wings. Closed state. Open state. So, <clears throat> speed brakes, flaps down, <clears throat> flaps up, speed brake closed, wings swept back, and the parts you'll need for that. Wings fully opened, and the parts you'll need for that. Your nozzles, your open state, your closed state. I give you lots of options with this. There you go. After burner rings and engine engines. Speed brake again, open, closed. Same thing on the bottom, open, closed. Canopy, closed, open, and your ladder. And then your weapons, lantern, your GBUs, your drop tanks, your pylons, sparrow and sidewinder on there, <clears throat> drop tanks where I thought the phoenixes would go, lantern, pylons, full weapon load, what it looks like, and there's decal markings for your weapons. Here is the one in the red, which is also sharp looking. Sunset Flight NAS Oceana 2006. There's your low vis marking here. Sunset Flight, again, same one, just different aircraft with a low vis if you wanted to go that route. And stencil data for that one. You've already seen the one with the black tails. So there you have it. Pretty long spur review, but pretty detailed kit. So, thanks for watching. If you're a 72nd or Tomcat aficionado, this is one that you definitely want to add to your collection because it looks really good. I'd be interested to see how some of you get it built. Send me links if you got some pictures of a built one or if you plan on building it. Take care. Sit your ass at the bench and do some modeling, especially during these times. Nothing takes your mind off it better. Bye for now.